two Iranian fast boats zoomed by the amphibious assault ship USS Essex on Friday, passing by within 300 yards of the ship while Army General Joseph Waddell, the head of U.S. Central Command, was on board. Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps Navy has a history of close and often provocative encounters with the U.S. Navy operating in the Persian Gulf and surrounding waters. Captain Brian Mutte, the Essex's commander, told NBC News that the encounter was annoying, but it was not unsafe and unprofessional, Navy officials said Friday, nor did it appear related to the visit by Vadal, who oversees U.S. forces in the Middle East. Iranian boats performed similar maneuvers around the Essex and the ships accompanying it regularly, sometimes several times a week, Navy officials told the Post. On Friday, a total of six Iranian vessels approached the Essex's amphibious ready group. Muddy told NBC News that earlier on Friday, an Iranian sailor warned the Essex that Iranian boats would shoot at a U.S. helicopter operating from the Essex if it continued to fly around at their boats. The helicopter continued operations, however, and no shots were fired. Vaudel, speaking aboard the Essex, told reporters that the ship's crew reacted in a way that lowered the risk of the encounter escalating. He said it was typical for Iranian boats to maneuver within one quarter of a mile of us ships. Iran is always a concern, and so we will be vigilant as we always are, not just here in the maritime environment but really across the theater, Vaudel said. Because we have to be. Captain Gerald Olin, who leads the Essex's amphibious ready group, said the Iranians were trying to gather information on us naval operations, recording the ships on camera. Olin told the Post his ships used loudspeakers to communicate with the Iranian boats. While there have not been any unsafe or unprofessional encounters since then, Iranian drones are increasingly active around its ships in the area. The Navy says it has not adjusted its operations and will operate wherever international law allows, but the conduct of Iranian drones has been a source of concern. Even with decreased incidents, we remain concerned with the increased number of Iranian UAVs operating in international airspace at night without navigation lights or an active transponder as would be expected according to international norms, Lt. Chloe Morgan, a U.S. Naval Forces Central Command spokeswoman, told Business Insider earlier this month.